it's October in the desert and we're going camping at Apache Lake. As Austin said, it's on the Salt River and even though it's October, it's still 100 degrees. So it's gonna be a little bit toasty during the day, but it'll be cooling off really, really nice at night. Uh, we're gonna do all of our favorite activities. We're gonna go fishing and Sophie's gonna go swimming and the boys are gonna go swimming. We're gonna hopefully catch some fish and we're going to cook on the campfire and we're gonna have a uh, s'mores um, and do all the usual camping stuff like telling stories. This year Jameson's promised that he's gonna have the best story. We'll see about that. He's been cooking up a, a recipe for a story for quite a while now but so I'm really looking forward to hearing Jameson's story that he's been thinking of for quite some time. He says it's going to be so scary that we're not going to be able to sleep. You'll have to be the judge of that. Alright, so next stop, Burnt Corral Campgrounds on Patch Lake. Even all the way up here, they sell EGs. Yeah, I'm surprised. I mean, we're pretty far from Tucson. Testing, testing, testing. Hi everyone. We're here at the camp at Apache Lake. Nice Beautiful. Bubba is over there playing with crawdads. But um, I'm here to walk you through the process of setting up camp. So usually the first thing that we, well, actually oh, almost always the first thing that we do is select the campsite. In this particular case, we selected uh, campsite number. We are on campsite number 69. And so the first thing that we're gonna do, well, the second thing that we're gonna do is we're going to uh, bring the truck and the trailer into this area. Then we're gonna start unpacking. So the first thing, that we're gonna do after we've set everything up, uh, as in like we've got the trailer here, is we're either gonna take out the awning or the flooring first. And then we will set up the tables, as you can see here, and then the grill, and then the chairs, and then we'll just put everything on it. We'll all start working on the interior. Mom does most of the stuff there, so. But that is the basic process of how we set up our campsite.
something. My campfire story. The scariest one I could come up with. Mm -hmm. So far. <laughs> what are you drinking now? Milk. Cold milk. Cold is my story. Now, it was a beautiful day. The campers had just showed up with their stream line. Right. They were enjoying themselves. They were so they were currently preparing for their stay. One of them had brought a small beetle. Just a small beetle. A brown bug, if you will. And he was he brought it over because the poor thing was about a month out of season. Thought it deserved it a nice little vacation. Who's he? Oh you <laughs> You're speaking of yourself in the third yes, person. Dad. Fourth person, actually. Now, <clears throat> Jameson, <laughs> he set the beetle down, hoping it would enjoy its vacation. But then, all of a sudden, it enlarged and became a giant brown bug. And it flew with its old decrepit wings and picked up the RV and threw it into some campers, which became jam after that. Now, <laughs> <laughs> Jammed Why? campers? Because it was angry. It was trying, it was crawling in the truck because it wanted a ride. <laughs> Not to the campground, but to Walmart. <laughs> Why to Walmart? Super Walmart or regular Walmart? Super Walmart. Oh. <laughs> Man, he could go to the McDonald's. Sadly, he was old, so he didn't know that they tore the McDonald's down. COVID. What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> so, he smashed the campground. People were screaming, and the crawdads, they woke. The beetle, obviously being an angry beetle, decided to pick up the crawdads and threw them all over the camp. Everybody was being pinched. The young boy scrambled, scrambled for his life. That's all. And when he was done, well, he took a moment to, to uh, feel sorry for the campers that he had just smushed and uh, made into paste. Now, then he retreated to the water. He drank the whole lake. Wow. Simply because he was very thirsty after fishing the camp. This is a terrifying story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have nightmares. <laughs> okay. I got a story. Now the beetle sits oh. in the Wait, are you lake. still going? <laughs> yes. Oh. I thought we were done. Now, Time even to, to this Time day. To button this story up. Shush, shush. Now, even to this day, the beetle sits in the dry lake, yearning for another sip of human flesh. And all the fish and stuff died, yada, yada, yada. A few people made it out, told a story. And that's how I got it. Now, I got a story. What happened to Jameson? Oh. He remembered that day for the rest of his life. Mm. As pace, he even went over to become an exterminator. I thought you died. I no, I didn't I die. You became you know. What about Austin? Oh, Austin definitely became jam. <laughs> oh, come on. Once upon a time, there were four happy campers. Ooh. Good yeah, they, they had an airstream and they had just arrived. Now, the first day. You know, we're just at Apache Lake. Oh, Apache Lake. <laughs> hey, that's where we're at. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Coincidence. It's true story, like, true story. It's already three minutes long. Yeah. Come on, yeah, move on. Yeah, you see, the first day was a real bust. Nothing really got done except for set up the camp, you know. But the second day, they caught so many bluegill, they could fill up a whole net. Mm. Oh. And that night, when they went to catch a flathead, they caught an 80 pound monster of wow. a fish. Um, yeah, something happened. When it's not black. It's when, one of the, when one of the kids tried picking it up, it swallowed him. Which one? I was in the tree where you were saying, Bubba. I was in the tree where you were Why would I pick it up? That's dumb campfire story news. And then it went back into the water, never to be seen again. Hmm. The boy lost his hand. Yeah. Poor kid. Poor, poor kid, yeah. A taste for Jameson hand. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, wait, mommy oh, oh, mommy. Bubba, mommy. Bubba. Bubba, we're
I think it's pretty cool. So I have to put after you're done kissing. After you're done kissing. I hope you get a kiss. Oh, yeah.